the call came when I was out on one of my road trips. Uh, I was in the middle of Iowa, in the middle of a cornfield at Senator Chuck Grassley's house, and it was mom's internist saying that she was in the hospital, she had pneumonia, she wasn't eating, and that if we didn't put in a feeding tube, she was going, we were going to lose her. You know, her precise instructions were that she wanted to die. She didn't, you know, she didn't want to be prolonged. And, uh, and yet, I didn't feel that I could make this decision, um, essentially pulling the plug on mom uh, from Iowa. And so I let them put in the feeding tube. Um, I later learned uh, that we had weeks. And this was a good part of my frustration with uh, the traditional fee-for-service Medicare system, where you have all these independent operators uh, and all of the doctors are getting paid according to the procedures that they do. But after we had the feeding tube inserted, I put mom and dad into this nursing home and by a wild stroke of wonderful luck, the doctors there were employees of the Geisinger Medical System. And it's kind of like the Mayo Clinic in that doctors are paid salaries and performance bonuses, but they are not paid fee-for-service. They're not paid according to the services they perform. All of a sudden, three things happened. First of all, people stopped sticking needles in my parents. Second of all, they stopped sending my parents to specialists um, for you know, consultations that were unnecessary. And the third thing, and the most important thing that happened, was that the doctors started talking to me as if I were a sentient, intelligent human being. You know, they told me the truth about how mom and dad were going to go. The real revolution in medical care that Geisinger surfed the wave of was electronic record keeping. Um, and over time, they were able to establish what kind of procedures worked, what kinds of drugs worked, and in what circumstances. And they quantified almost everything. You know, if you have diabetes, there's a bundle of nine different procedures that your doctors should follow uh, and make sure that you're following. The theory is that this is the best way to provide really good care um, and save money so that Medicare doesn't explode in costs as we baby boomers uh, begin to retire and die. We have long known that some places, like the Geisinger Health System in rural Pennsylvania, offer high quality care at costs below average. There's a big fight looming. Uh, the Obama administration, through Obamacare, really wants to move Medicare in the direction of Geisinger-style systems, but the doctors are going to be opposed because they like to be the captain of their ship and uh, they don't like to be um, told uh, what procedures they can do and what they can't do. And also, the, quite frankly, fee-for-service medicine is more profitable for them. Why not do the extra x-ray or the extra MRI even if it isn't necessary? People get paid. In my dad's case, when his kidney stopped working, I had a choice to make about you know, whether to keep him hydrated, whether to bring him back. And the doctors just said very frankly to me, even if you bring him back now, he's going to be back in the hospital in a month or six weeks because his kidneys are shot. That level of candor is the kind of thing that most people don't get from fee-for-service medical doctors. And that's what made the death of my parents um, tolerable and easier than it might have been. And in some ways, it was even satisfying uh, because I got to make the, the decisions as part of a team. I got to say goodbye. And, uh, and my parents went with serenity and with dignity.